Welcome, Real Talk family. So, from the title of this video, you already know what this video is going to be about. But before we get started, I would first like to say, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it, and welcome back to the channel. To those that are new to my channel and you like my content, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell, so you never miss a video when I upload. Hello, you guys. I want to touch on language arts portion of the GED test today. And I want to tell you guys that you are capable. You are able. All you have to do is believe in yourself and make sure you put forth the effort in passing this test. I want to start off by telling you guys that the test is 150 minutes. You need a passing score of at least 145. The written essay which is basically the extended response is 45 minutes. You have a couple test topics because I've been getting questions about the topics, like what's going to be on the test? What do I need to remember? So the test topics are reading for meaning, identifying and creating arguments, and also grammar and language. So those are the test topics that you basically need to focus on. Make sure you are focusing on those particular topics. Also, the reading language art test assesses your ability to understand what you read and how to write clearly. So that's basically, basically the purpose of the language arts GED test. I wanted to go over... Uh, some question, a question that I also got was what type of essay is going to be on it? Is it an argument essay? That was one of the questions that I got from somebody who left me a comment recently. And in answering that question, I will tell you that it is, yes, you are correct. It is going to be one of those arguments, I guess, that you can say, um, they're going to give you two different portions, right? They're going to give you evidence of whatever, whoever is talking about. Say Sam is talking about this. Angela is talking about this. They're going to bring you two points. And the person that has the most reliable information, sources that they can prove, not opinion. Because a lot of people have opinions, but not facts. So they are looking for how do you interpret who is correct, who is not correct. You also get points on that. So basically, in, in answering your question, I guess it would be an argument. So make sure that you are really paying attention to the content that they're giving you and the information that they are giving you as well. So make sure you pay attention to that. So basically, I just wanted to touch on that right quick because I have been getting a lot of questions. Um, I also do other videos. I posted a social studies um, video, I want to say about two weeks ago. So go check that out if you have not checked that out. Um, also, y'all, I want to continue because I want to touch on a topic about predictions. And so in the next clips, you're going to see that. So if you would like to stay tuned, just keep on watching. All right, you guys, so let's just go ahead and get started. We are going to be talking about predictions. When you are reading a passage, you can often predict or guess what might happen based in what you already know about a character or situation. First, understand the character or situation. Then apply what you know to figure out what may happen next. Try this as you read the passage below. Selma was... Selma was fired from journalism jobs at two media companies. 
So based on a gut feeling, she holed up in a shack on Cape Cod, one room, no basement, a space heater. She started a novel. From the beginning, she knew this was right. In five months, the novel was completed. The phone rang and an agent she had contacted years earlier just happened to call. Luck was with her. Okay, so let's get into it. What I know about the character and situation. They gave the, the first answer to that. Selma lost two jobs. She wrote a novel, an agent called. So that's basically the information that we know off of the information that was given. What I think will happen as a result. So then you have to answer that portion and what happens as a result. The answer to that is Selma would get her novel published. Okay. And the answer is down below. So if you are unsure, you can also check your answer. And the answer is the same that we wrote in the column. By answering these questions, you will not only predict outcomes, but you will also better understand what you are reading. Take what you know about characters and situations and use them to predict what will happen next. And this can be even for life in general, you guys. So just keep that in mind that a lot of things that we learn, we do end up using those in the future. Next passage. Down the rope that hung the baby's box from the roof support, a scorpion moved slowly. His stinging tail was straight out behind him, but he could whip it up in a flash of time. Kino's breath whistled in his nostrils and he opened his mouth to stop it. And then the startled look was gone from him and the rigidity from his body. In his mind, a new song had come. The song of evil, the music of the enemy, of any foe of the family. A savage, secret, dangerous melody and underneath the song of the family cried blatantly. Ooh, that was a lot of information there. This actually looks like it could be maybe um, something written from a poem or something. And on the side, it also tells you what it is. Say, read the passage from The Pearl by John Stanback. Answer the questions and predicting outcomes, then check your answers. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get right on into the question. It says, what do you think will happen next? Let's read the answer choices that they're given. A, Kino will be too scared to help the baby. B, Kino will kill the scorpion. Which one is it? The answer is B, Kino will kill the scorpion. And we know that because of the information that was given in the passage. So you just really have to, excuse me, pay attention to what you're reading because you've, you've been given that information for a reason. Next question. What information about Kino helped you make your prediction? Was it A, the startled look was gone? Or was it B, Kino's, Kino's breath whistled in his nostrils? Okay, so the answer is A, the startled look was gone. Answers you should have chosen number two, B, and we chose B, Kino would kill the scorpion. And three is A, the startled look was gone. So those are the answers to that. And so I'm going to do a couple more passages with you guys so you guys can just kind of get the gist of predictions. Okay, let's get right on into it. Clearly, we are now on the threshold of a system by which all books are scanned, eventually including even hard-to-find out-of-print volumes with their contents instantly accessible. Thousands of library rats suddenly understood that forays that had once taken months to complete could now be dispatched in an evening. And many more projects that were previously infeasible had suddenly been transformed into no-brainers. Okay, what I know about the situation. Answer, 
I know that large number of books are being scanned electronically. And we know that because we saw that in the passage. Second question, what I think will happen as a result. All books will be scanned and research will be easier. So basically, I just know that because of the information that I was given and I make a prediction based off of the information that I was already given. Okay, let's get down to the last passage. Ma's taboo perfume filled up the office. She was wearing her toll booth collector's uniform and was seated on an unfamiliar metal folding chair that had been dragged in for the occasion. My school records were fanned out across Mr. Pucci's desk. Sit down, Dolores. Sit down, he began. His palm was extended out toward my regular seat. His smile was unfamiliar. I've asked your mother to come in today so that the three of us can talk about your future. It was a setup, an ambush. Can we do it some other time, I said. I have an important quiz to study for. Plus, I think I may be getting a migraine. Ma was snapping and unsnapping the claps of her pocketbook. I've gotten all from work special. Dolores, I think we should both hear what Mr. Pucci has to say. Hope I'm saying that right. I was suddenly, blatantly aware of secret telephone conversations between them. The revelation made me limp. I sat. Question. What do you think is most likely to happen next? A, Dolores' mother won't believe what Mr. Pucci has to say. Or B, Dolores' mother will get angry with Dolores for her behavior in school. And the answer choice is going to be B. From And I feel like you can gather that when he said, no, I think we can sit here and listen to what Mr. Pucci has to say. So that's kind of how you can make that prediction as well. All right, number four, list two pieces of information from the passage that help you make your prediction. So I wrote, it was a set up, an ambush. I was suddenly blatantly aware of secret telephone conversations between them. So that's basically how you can get your answer in doing so by just basically looking at the information, looking at what's being said, looking at who's saying what, the answers that they're replying to whatever is being said. So I want to give y'all a little assignment and the extension is going to read the past, read the first page of his story, make a chart like the one above and write down what you know about the characters and situation then predict what might happen next. So just because a lot of people like to ask me, what do I do? What do I study? So here's a assignment for you to do where you can better understand predictions and see how they use predictions in your upcoming language arts GED test. I want to wish you all so much success. I want to thank you all so much for your support. Your support has been greatly, greatly appreciated. And I am so amazed at the different results that people are coming back to me with, telling me that they have passed their test. People are asking me questions. I love answering you guys' questions. If you have any other comments, questions, or concerns concerning any parts of the test, just leave them down in the comment section below. I really appreciate you guys more than you know. This channel is growing. Like I said, once we get to a thousand subscribers, I am going to be doing a giveaway. So stay tuned for that, you guys. I will also list my social media platforms in the description box as well. If you guys would like to get more personal with me, Thank you all so much. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace.